Can you believe it? This inconspicuous pond is actually a death prison. Deep in the Sahara Desert. There is a small oasis. It is the only water source within a 160 kilometer radius. But for small animals. Deadly dangers lurk here. Incredibly. This pond, isolated from the outside world, is actually crowded with crocodiles. How did they cross the vast desert? To get here. Hundreds of years ago. When the Sahara Desert was still an oasis. The ancestors of the crocodiles settled here. However, with climate change. The oasis gradually disappeared. The descendants of the crocodiles were trapped in this isolated pond. Becoming prisoners of the desert. When a kite flies over. Wanting to drink water by the pond to cool down. It does not know that it has become prey. In this water area with scarce food. Crocodiles, in order to survive, have to engage in fierce competition. And a honey buzzard is far from enough to satisfy so many hungry mouths. Crocodiles are reptiles highly dependent on water sources. Their skin needs to stay moist. And they cannot leave water for long periods. So they cannot cross the endless desert. But staying here may lead to starvation. Therefore, they are trapped in this death prison. In a dilemma. Fate seems to have given them a glimmer of hope. There are still a few days of rain each year. Bringing brief life to this barren land. The arrival of the rainy season temporarily expands the oasis in the desert. The crocodiles get a respite, but they still cannot escape this desert. If their descendants can persevere for another 10,000 years or so, the Earth's climate cycle may change again. By then, the Sahara Desert will once again welcome rain and become a vibrant oasis. But can the descendants of these desert prisoners really wait until that day? Final English SRT output. SRT. <laughs>